Welcome back to Diecast A-Rod. We're gonna continue to look at some of Jack's collections. This is part two of the big vehicles, larger vehicles in his collection. And we'll continue with something pretty cool. This is from 1989. Look at the, the pink and the blues, purples. It just screams 80s. And this is the Peterbilt Tank Truck 2800. This is the collector number. Now look at this thing. This is just a massive, massive piece of die cast. Interesting, we've got that discoloration on the bottom. But is not present on the top in the least. And I'm thinking that's because this received a coating I don't know what's going on with that. It's it's interesting to me. And look at the orange. I have a little bit of damage right here to the blister. Other than that, very decent. Sh God damn it. Welcome to Diecast A-Rod. We're going to continue to look at Jack's collection that I acquired. This is going to be part two of the larger vehicles. And we'll begin with a couple of pieces from 1989's Workhorses. And look at the card art. Look at the dark blue, purple, the violet. What do you call that color? Uh, anyway, it just screams 80s. And this is the Peterbilt tank truck. A little bit of damage to the blister here. Other than that, it's in pretty good shape. A little bit of something going on there. This thing is just incredibly, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It is so heavy and look at it. It's just a massive chunk of die cast. Incredible. I love the details from the ladder on the back. The shell tempo. And as I said, this is from 1989's Workhorses. There was a variant released a bit later, same year, same collector number, and this is it. Uh, so first was orange, then yellow. So cool. You can see this says new model in yellow. And it's unpunched and has a tag, which tells me it definitely wasn't on a peg, so it was more likely sitting on a Hot Wheels display case and you pull it off. That's what I think anyway, since it was tagged as well. And the tag, remember, these were sitting on the shelves in 1989. The tag, and uh, Jack bought them locally in Asheville. I keep saying that, and that's what's so cool to me. I recognize this tag and I, I really suspect that it's an Eckerd's tag. Uh, there was an Eckerd's in Biltmore Forest. That was the Eckerd's that I went to as a kid. And a lot of my old GI Joes came from that Eckerd's. Uh, I would, my dad would give me just ton of toys every Christmas and, uh, GI Joes were big for me. Unfortunately, I don't have any. I shot them all with BB guns as a kid, but oh well. Uh, I do have fond memories of walking in that Eckerd's and on the shelf, uh, I remember seeing the Legend of Zelda game watch. And I looked this up. That watch uh, was released in the US October 5th, 1989. The same year these were on the shelf. I could have walked in Eckerd's. This is what's insane to me. I could have walked in Eckerd's in 1989, is nine years old, seen that Zelda Game & Watch and this very truck. It's possible. <laughs> it is possible. And then Jack came along, grabbed it, and took it home. And now I have it. It is possible, it's a possibility. Love the detail, and just look at how that metal 
die-cast gleams. Let's see. I think that maybe, I don't know. The bottom is very similar as well. You see the discoloration on the bottom, which is interesting. We noted that in, uh, in another vehicle. I don't know if it's because it doesn't have a coating. You can see a bit of discoloration going on in places. Let's take a look at the back. There's your proof of purchase, which they had barcodes, but that technology had not trickled down to in-store. Hence, the tag that had to be rung up by a person punching it into an old, old school register. I can hear them now. There was 76 in the 1989 Collector Series. You can see available summer and fall, 1989. And there we have the Made in Malaysia. So many cool cars. And many of them we'll be taking a look at from Jack's collection. You can see the second release facing the opposite direction with the new model. So happy to have these. Incredibly heavy piece. <laughs> that feels like it weighs a couple of pounds. All right, let's go to the next car. We'll go from 1989 into 1990, the Oshkosh Snowplow. You can see the blister has quite a bit of discoloration. There's a little bit of damage on the car. New paint style. Now, what's really intriguing about this one are the wheels. Uh, I do not see this listed on Fandom, the Hot Wheels Wiki. Interesting el enough. This may be a very rare variation. I don't know, but it doesn't have it listed. These are actually the off-road construction tires. And it's listed as having either construction tires, which these are definitely not. Or I forget the other one. Uh, let me see here. Orange construction tires, perhaps. Uh, but these are definitely the ORCTs. So I don't know if the, this could be a very rare variation. Very rare variation. I don't know. I'll have to do further research on this. It as well, just like the tankers, it's incredibly, incredibly heavy. Obviously, metal base. Let's take a good look at those, those wheels. And look at the green of that paint. You can see inside green seat covers. Massive front end. Let me move the light. It's a little better. Give us a little better look in there. The Oshkosh Snow Plow. This is collector number 42. And as well, I believe we're made in Malaysia. And 1990 Collector's Series. 
Let me back this off. It's blinding me. Ninety-two cars available summer and fall, nineteen ninety. I know as a kid I had an ambulance. I'm not sure which one, or even if it was a Hot Wheels. Could have been Matchbox, could have been, who knows. Makes me wanna look through old pictures and see if I can find a family picture that happens to have my toys laying around in it. So I could definitely identify it. And here again, we've got quite a few of these points. 10 speed points. This offer expired June 30th, 1991. You could join the Speed Points Club, get a newsletter, poster, decals, and more. I wish they would do more stuff like that. Actually, you had to mail in. That would be cool. It's like a throwback. Massive, massive truck. So heavy. All right, let's go to the next one. We're going to go back to 1989. Back into the Workhorses series. And we have not one, but two school buses. And this had two variations. Uh, within, or I should say, there was this one and then another variant uh, in 1989. The collector number is 1795, yellow school bus, Malaysia. Uh, the one we have is the long, black, thick stripe. Starts back here and it finishes up here. The variant, it's a thinner stripe and it does not appear up here. It's only on the back of the bus. These as well, very heavy castings. Let's see if I can get a good shot in there. Here it goes. So we have plastic base and looks like the copyright is 88 Malaysia. And can we see in there? I'd like to really take a look inside of it. I definitely need to get me a pen light for this, which I saw one one guy on a video doing. We can't really see in there too well. I can't tell if there's seats or not. It would be so interesting <laughs> to take this apart and take a look in there, which I won't be doing. The cards are in pretty good shape. This one has a small crease. Otherwise, pretty good shape to be as old as it is. And look at the paint, just absolute mint. The emergency exit. Really neat piece, especially if you do like dioramas, just have a old school school bus. This is the school buses that I remember. You know, this is what they looked like when I was a kid. I, I can't think, I think they're still using the same school buses, at least around here. God knows how old they are. The city buses have switched to 
uh, EV. I don't know uh, when that will happen with the schools, but wouldn't that be cool if they did? The only thing this is lacking that uh, the school bus has had is the number. You would see it on the back, the front, the side. You'd have to run out and catch your bus at the end of the school day. And a lot of times it seems like the driver just tried to leave as quickly as possible. <laughs> Let's take a look at the back. It's always one of those nightmarish scenarios. You're trying to exit the school as quickly as possible. People are crawling everywhere. Your the clock is ticking down. You egg, finally get out the f school doors and there's the bus driving off. Same thing would happen in the mornings, occasionally. Free Hot Wheels Collector's Handbook Offer. Now you can keep track of all your favorite Hot Wheels cars from 1968 to 1989. Wow. Collect them all. Buy five Mattel Hot Wheels cars, mail in five Hot Wheels points, or five proof of purchase seals. And uh, you get this collector's handbook, which is really cool. Really would like to add that to my own collection. 76 cars in the 89 collector series. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next. All right, now we're going to 2001, which uh, as I said in the previous video is thus far the latest date I've seen in Jack's collection. Uh, this is collector number 014, the Surfing School Bus. And uh, this is Phil Reilman or Phil, Phil Reilman's uh, design. Check out the back. Purple tint to the windows. Wood grain tampo, which I think is the coolest thing about this. Look at those pipes back there. Crazy. I, I am very partial to anything with wood grain. Surfing school bus. You can see the Mattel wheels. 2001 first editions surfing school bus, number two of 36. Take a look at the back. We've seen these guys before. Collect all 36 models in the 2001 First Edition series. Cadillac LMP, So Fast, Crazy Eights, Surf and School Bus, Super Tuned, MST Suzuka, La Troca. I just saw that on the shelf uh, at the local grocery. Hooligan, I think I saw him too. And uh, Penos LMP1 Roadster S. What is this staff car? Hmm. Special collector poster. <clears throat> Mail in today for a complete photo record of all the 2001 series. That is so awesome. And one thing I didn't mention before, we've seen him a couple of times now. Look at Maddie Mattel with his crown. Holding the old style phone with the cord. So cool. Maddie Mattel. 
It would really be cool if they brought him back. Just a really cool piece. All right, next, what do we got? All right, we return to, I, I'm not sure. I believe, I don't know what this is from really. There's discrepancies all, all over the place. The collector number, 1171. The discrepancy is there's no raised C777. So it is from the Workhorses series. I don't know if it's a rare variant, but we can see the yellow construction wheels, uh, but no Ray C777. It's not there. It's definitely from the Workhorses series. It's definitely 1171. And that is something, this is not pictured or shown on the Fandom Hot Wheels Wiki. 1989 Collector's Series. Malaysia. One interesting thing, there are no windows. Some interesting colors happening on the base. Let's see if I can get zoomed in here. Nineteen seventy nine, I believe. Super cool truck. And again, it's incredibly heavy. And we've got some more uh, construction stuff to check out. All right, this is from 1990. You can see the speed points. Moving part. Collector number three, this is the wheel loader, again with the yellow construction wheels. <clears throat> Pretty heavy piece as well. No windows. You see the bucket. It's just in pristine shape. Eleven seventy three cat wheel loader. Take a look at what's going on on the back. Speed bulletin. Uh, what is that? I got to find out what that is. Speed bulletin, Hot Wheels poster, club driver's license. <laughs> That's great. Stickers and ramp. Super cool. You could save speed points for a cool racing jacket, a compact TV, a bike, a stopwatch, and more. Two dollars. And there's your speed points. I suppose that's why they don't do anything like this anymore. <laughs> Reproductions of any kind are not valid. Cards in very nice shape. Uh, 
All right, and let's take a look at our third and final vehicle, another construction vehicle. This is 1991's Cat Bulldozer, collector number 34. Let's see the 1172 in the bottom left. Moving part. And this is just an incredible casting. Moving parts, just super, super cool. And look at those tracks. Would love to be able to see the bottom. I'm thinking we gotta have 50 or 60 speed points by now or more. Let's take a look at all three construction vehicles we have. All in that cat yellow. Just really cool. All right, guys, we have a lot more of Jack's collection to get through. I keep calling it Jack's collection. It's now my collection. And we're getting to know the cars. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.